You're too sweet. Well, aren't you generous? Rocks and valleys, crevices and hiding places. This is the kind of place where hermits and fanatics dwell. You fit right in. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're a great alchemist. You know that, right? And that's coming from me, so it means something. Do you need something? Well, back before I, you know, the College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Soul trapping, summoning Daedra, messing with the mortal realm, or even creating love potions. And no. I do not consent to any potion or mind-altering thing to be done to me. I prefer to be myself, thank you Though, very much. Though, I would like to see if we could give a potion to Camilla, and have her love both Fendel and Sven. Actually, never mind. That was a terrible idea. Sometimes the danger tendencies in me just think of these really stupid things.
I'm glad we're together. How may I serve you, my lord? I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, my lord. Please, do not be angry with me. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling, it's that I am physically unable. Oh, please, my lord, please, forgive me. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it, if it meant pleasing you. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Oh, thank you, my lord, thank you. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Fortune smile upon you, my lord. Do you need something? All right. Horseback I don't think I do. Never had to travel much back on the island. Though, it wouldn't hurt to try. Tell you what, take me to a stable owner and we can get myself a horse. We'll cross that hurdle when we get there. Yes? Yes, I do. Don't tell anyone else, though. Sometime back when I was still... mortal, my parents ordered an entire keg of Altmer Golden Pear wine. And yes, I know my parents were... weird. But like any other Nord royalty, they did like their wine. Anyway, what I did next was probably the most stupid and one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. One afternoon, I snuck down into the cellar while everyone was asleep. And I thought, maybe I should have a quick swig of this. And the next thing I knew, I was laying flat on my belly with both my parents yelling at me. I supposedly finished the entire keg. Yes, it was. But getting hungover really isn't. Right behind you. 
I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Thanks for checking in. I like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Yeah, I got one for sale. That'll do. She's all saddled up for you. There's a certain vigor in her eyes. I like her. I could either name her Phoenix because of this fire in her eyes. Or Nightshade. Because she also reminds me of the flowers I used to tend to in my mother's I'll let you pick. Nightshade it is, then. Now, it's time to take you for a ride. Time to test my mettle. Whoa. My father Easy. never thought I was smart enough to be a stable master. I just wish he was around to see me now. the gods. I'm never doing something like this again. You don't say. Could you teach me then? 
probably need your help with this one. Thanks, and do take it easy. Well, now that's done. Well, now that's done. I should be able to hold my own now, at least. So the next time you decide to be on horseback, I should be able to catch up. The sun is... it's not great for my skin, if you know what I mean. What is it, Elf? How can I assist, hmm? Right then. You like it. It's a special thing for you. Wow. Just sensing your magical reserves. You truly are incredible. Very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are going to have some words when we get back.
Wow. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Yes? I was just thinking. How would I describe you to someone who's never met you? Fearless? Clever? Dashing? No. I think it's your kindness that really sets you apart, actually. You always try to help people, and it's uncanny how you can always tell when someone needs your aid, too. I never did get how. Got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. What is it? If you run into any trolls, just remember they're more scared of you than you are of them. Well, right behind you. I may be out of the loop on the whole romance thing, but that pickup line is just bad. Abysmally bad. And yours are anything but better? Try saying this to Carlotta, back in Whiterun. And don't even think about asking Mikhail for advice beforehand. <laughs> eh.
Anyway, I'm glad you're here with me. It really is picturesque, and... I couldn't have gone this far without you. You know, this is going to sound odd. I mean, with everything that's going on. The prophecy, the scrolls, the certain death looming over us all the time. But this place is so beautiful. It's kind of like I used to imagine. You know, make love to the one person in my life in the most beautiful grove in all of Tamriel. <laughs>